In this video, we're going to be examining the uh, distance metric in the hyperbolic geometry, specifically the distance metric for the hyperbolic half plane model for geometry. Uh, each different model for hyperbolic geometry is going to have a slightly different version of this metric. But um, here's how it works. So remember that we have two different kinds of lines. We have lines that are our uh, Euclidean wise are vertical rays uh, without their endpoints going up from the perpendicular to the edge and then we have uh, we also have lines going through two points like this are actually uh, Euclidean semicircles that was with the center on the edge and so they'll also be uh, perpendicular here to the edge there and there as well Okay, so how do we measure distance? Well, just as we have two lines, there are two kinds of, uh, of distance. Okay, and let me get this up where I can see the buttons. There we go. So, let's go through here. And so we're going to look on uh, a non-vertical line and start with, with two points, like A and B here. Okay, and we're going to make our little hyperbolic line here, and we're wanting to know this distance, which is this dotted, the length of that dotted uh, line segment as a hyperbolic distance. Okay, so what we do is, as a Euclidean object, we find these points of intersection down here, where it inter, this, these points C and D, where it intersects the uh, edge. Now, remember those part are not points in the uh, geometry itself, uh, but they are points in our in our Euclidean plane we can look at. So now what we're going to, so the hyperbolic segment we're looking at is that Euclidean arc there. So we're measuring that pink distance as a hyperbolic distance. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make some Euclidean segments. We will make all these segments here. So connect each of the two points to each of the uh, points on the edge. So we will make AC, AD, BC, and BD if they're labeled like you see here in the in the drawing. And these are their Euclidean distances. And so we measure their Euclidean distance. And there we go. Okay, so that's the first thing we do. The next thing we want to do is we want to look at some formulas that we have for this, okay, and the formula that we're going to work out, we actually have two formulas that are are actually interchangeable. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. Let's let's move some things around here slightly. So there are those. Let's move our points over here. And here are the formulas. Okay, so what we do is we take we take the measure of dA okay, across here, this one, times the measure of of uh, BC. So we take the 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 numerator. If you look at this one, the numerator has the, the numerator has the product of the distances to the the far side uh, where the where the uh, semicircle meets the edge and the denominator is the product of the distances to the short side shorter side closer side here and we take the logarithm of that natural log and then the absolute value and that's going to be our distance uh, to make it a distance here we went ahead and multiplied by one centimeter to give it a unit a distance unit Okay, and so that's how we, that's how we do it, right? Uh, okay, the other formula, it turns out to be the same thing. It's it's just the reciprocal for the one in here. You put the AC and the BD on the top, and the AD and the CB on the bottom. But you know that these two things, these when you reciprocal to these two things. Uh, their logarithms are just opposite in sign, 
and so if you take the absolute value uh, you're going to get the same thing so you know pick one of these and use it all the time it'll be fine you get the same thing the main thing is is if you use if you go to the opposite side here that one's got to go in the same part of the fraction as the one that goes to the opposite side there and that's how we measure uh, hyperbolic distance so so if you notice this is going to be a fairly small distance here 0 0.2 0 0.3 okay but as we get out here it gets bigger and it's going to as we approach here it's going to get extremely big uh, very fast okay and so we can get pretty large if we go up this way we can actually get arbitrarily large so that's how we how we measure that for a uh, the lines that are circles okay now on the the second type we were looking at a line segment like this where we're measuring a, uh, a vertical segment line segment in uh, Euclidean space but it's off of a vertical line say type of a um, line segment in a hyperbolic and we measure some distances there let's see I think I need to go over to the right to see some of this there they are so now here are distances. We measure these distances, e, uh, e to G and F to G. So once again, we're measuring from the point, each of the points, to the place where it cross, crosses the uh, edge. Notice this one only has one place where it crosses the edge. And the formula you use here, let's see here. Up. Uh, so this one, this distance goes with this one. All right, let me, uh, let me do a little moving around here just a bit. So this is the vertical hyperbolic distance, and here's a formula, the alternate formula is up there. So you take from E to G and divide it by from F to G, or vice versa. Take the log and the absolute value, natural logarithm absolute value, and you get the same number. That's going to be our vertical hyperbolic distance. So it's very similar to this. There's no products here because there's not four distances are just the two okay it turns out that if as this gets closer and closer to a straight line right that disappears but as it gets closer and closer to a straight line here that this one formula approaches this formula here and you can show that with with some limits okay so I can hide hide some of that. I can hide everything there. I can hide all that. Um, this is an interesting thing here. This controls the size of those uh, circles. Both of these are Euclidean circles. Uh, no, yeah, they are Euclidean circles. They're also hyperbolic circles, and the center of the circle is given, which is off-center from the... Uh, Euclidean center, but both of these are congruent circles. They have the same radius. So it's really interesting to see how when you move this around, it's staying it's staying a circle of the same radius the way this thing is constructed. And so it's kind of a uh, obviously not congruent Euclidean circles. So you see something about how the, uh, because of the way we define this thing, the way uh, the the uh, space sort of gets denser as you approach the infinite edge, if you want to think of it that way, in terms of how the, the distance is measured. 
So it's kind of interesting how that how that works. Okay, so that's the base. That's basically how we uh, define the hyperbolic distance.